humanism means uh, the uh, recognition of the other as autonomous and independent as I am. In other words, the basis of humanism is any type of democratic thinking where people are considered to be equal in principle and where differences between that the attempt is to settle them by non-violent means. At least that is the direction. It means liberalism in the sense that you recognize the right not only of individuals but of groups to be different from each other, which then leads to say my group, the Jewish group, also has that right, just like anyone else. But so do our neighbors and other groups, any other groups in humanity with whom I feel a common fate because in the end the humanity which existed only as I said before some two three hundred thousand years out of billions of years of the universe uh, is uh, capable of not only destroying itself but of disappearing and therefore in order to avoid that we need to recognize the other, to work together. Definitely, it is possible to be religious and humanist. Definitely. And there are religious humanists. They are allies to the secular Jewish humanists, at least on that field. Not as far as religious concern, which is not uh, recognized by secular Jews as being an objective truth. It is recognized as uh, the right of individual of being religious if they wish to. But the, uh, why that right is respected, it is not accepted as truth. Uh, the question is whether uh, Jewish secular humanism is a, uh, a revolution or a continuation of something that happened before. Well, of course, it's always a continuation because it is a continuation even of non-secular humanistic thinking that develops into secular humanistic thinking. So when you talk about Spinoza, for instance, yes, he's a forefather of secular humanism. He was not a secular humanist. He was a Jew, he thought of himself, himself as a Jew. Uh, he uh, uh, was on the verge of some kind of uh, pantheistic uh, religion, which he never really defined in any, any great detail. Uh, uh, his famous saying, Deus sive natura, uh, God, which means nature, is the beginning of a thinking that leads to secular, Jewish secular humanism. And then secular, Jewish secular humanism itself develops uh, from its early stages, from, let us say, the late 19th century. Great uh, uh, Hebrew writers uh, writing Hebrew and Yiddish, Berdyshevsky, for instance, yeah? and some others, uh, present already a pretty well-developed uh, Jewish secular humanism. And then come people like <coughs> Josef Chaim Brenner, uh, who is really a, a kind of a revolutionary. But Jewish secular humanism is not revolutionary. It is developmental. It, uh, I think there is no chance of a, any kind of a revolution like that. It's a slow development and uh, it depends on external influences that uh, uh, secular Jewish humanism uh, does not determine. It is influenced by that. So in that sense, uh, there's a possibility of advance and of regression because in uh, situations social situations, political situations, 
economic situations, ideological situations, where there's a possibility of a development of this. It can develop. But there can be situations where there will be a regression, where so a pessimistic outlook is possible. Uh, in order to avoid that, uh, secular, Jewish secular humanism cannot be silent. It has to try to influence the environment which influences it. And so any kind of action of secular humanism is extremely important. So the pessimism should, re should lead to positive action and not to the opposite. You have this uh, in contemporary Jewish life. In America, for instance, some 47% of Jews of America uh, belong to various religious groups, Reform, Conservative, and only 10% to Orthodox and Ultra-Orthodox. But half of American Jewry does not belong to any synagogue. In other words, there's a clear possibility there of the development of a uh, secular Jewish humanism that is bound to Jewish culture. Because what, it, what Jewish secular humanism means is the, basically the interpretation of Jewish culture in non-religious terminology, non-religious terms. So again, in a controversy, an internal split, but definitely with a possibility of a spread of Jewish humanistic secularism that will be bound to the development of Jewish culture in a non-religious way. <laughs>